Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day today. So I'm sure all of you have seen the new Hogwarts icon set. It was leaked earlier this week and was officially revealed today. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my two cents and go over everything so that you can know absolutely everything about this set. So let's start off with the details. This is going to be released on September 2nd of this year, of course. The set number is 76391. It will retail for $249.99 USD. It is an 18 plus set. It has 3,010 pieces. And if you are a VIP member, you will receive 1,625 VIP points for purchasing this set. Now this is our third Harry Potter D to C set, which if you don't know what that means is um it, that stands for direct to consumer, which are sold only at lego.com and lego stores and sometimes they um become widely available um in later months, you know, being sold um you know at Target and Barnes and Noble and stuff like that. So we have had a micro scale Hogwarts and then the big Diagon Alley and now we have this set. So without our further ado, let's get into what is included. So as you can probably tell, this is not a minifigure scale set. These items are from the Harry Potter universe that are in a real life scale. So we have Hedwig, who is carrying a Hogwarts acceptance letter, as you can see here. We have a box, which is carrying a bunch of potions and potion ingredients. We have the Golden Snitch. There are Harry's glasses and his wand. Hedwig is standing on books, which are random, excluding the one on the bottom, which is Tom Riddle's diary. We also have a chocolate frog and a chocolate frog card, as well as a scarf. And finally, a stand, which holds the chocolate frog card and the three 20th anniversary golden figures that are included in this set. So from the summer line of sets, we got Harry, Ron, Hermione, Snape, Quirrell, and Voldemort, and now here we have Dumbledore, McGonagall, and Hagrid completing the lineup of golden figures. Personally, I think that the Voldemort should have been replaced with Draco, because this is, you know, kind of a 20th anniversary for, you know, the Sorcerer's Stone, the first movie. So it would make sense to not have Voldemort in this, as he doesn't really appear in this movie, besides on the back of Quirrell's head, which is already there. So I don't really see the inclusion of him besides him being the main character who wasn't in that film, really. So I don't see why... Draco wasn't in it but anyways so that is it for everything that is included in this set so now let's go into further detail with everything included here so going back to the golden figures something that is not included in any of the pictures for whatever reason um but something that you can go and see in Ash and Flash's video I'll have it linked in the description um you can see in the instructions that there are more stands for the six Summer Wave Golden figures. So you can have all nine of the figures on this nice stand, which I'm so excited for because I was actually thinking of making some sort of something like this. And now I don't have to. I have this official one with three more figures that I don't have. And some may not like the inclusion of these figures in the set as they are not interested in the set but they're interested in these figures which is understandable but for me someone who was you know who really likes the set but wasn't too sure whether or not to get it the figures were you know the thing that had me ultimately decide to get it as you know i liked it a lot i just thought that the money could go to other sets that i want even more but i really want these golden anniversary to you know co complete the little collection here and so that's what decided for me but others may not like this and that's unfortunate but i think 
it was better for them to do this than to not have these three figures at all. Some people may not like the inclusion of Hedwig either, as we just got a buildable Hedwig last year. And some may say this version is a downgrade as it doesn't have movable wings. Well, the wings might move, but you know, they don't move um, by turning something. And I personally am perfectly fine with this. I do not have that Hedwig um, just because I thought it looked kind of dumb. The, you know, the feature of being able to move the wings is cool, but... I just thought that the actual design, the actual look of Hedwig was just kind of off. And I think that that completely fixes that in this set. So I'm perfectly fine with Hedwig being here. And, you know, I don't honestly even care if the wings move or not. You know, it would be a cool feature. But as for me, I'm just going to have this on a shelf on display. And so it doesn't really matter to me whether they can move or not so anyways the acceptance letter leaves room for you to write your name in which i personally would not be doing i just want to leave it how it is but i think this is still an amazing feature some people may be really excited to personalize this and have their name on a hogwarts acceptance letter even a lego version and so that is really, really cool. It's not a feature that is, you know, useful to me, but I still think it's a very, very nice inclusion. Moving on to the potions, all of which were, you know, um, part of the Harry Potter story at some point. Um, we have the Asphodel, Asphodel, I don't know, some, something and wormwood infusion which are the two ingredients that snape asked harry what would be the um, result of mixing them we also have um, the polyjuice potion which is of course um, what the golden trio use to turn into malfoy's friends and see if he is the heir of slytherin and of course where hermione famously turns into a cat by mistake and then we also have Gillyweed, which is a herb that Harry used in the second wizard challenge or wizarding, what is it, Triwizard Tournament challenge to breathe underwater. And finally, we have Liquid Luck, which is what Harry uses to get information on Tom Riddle from Slughorn. The scarf is a nice inclusion. I mean, I don't know. I think it looks really dumb, to be completely honest with you, but I do like that you can change it so that it can represent any of the four houses so there are green red blue yellow gray and black pieces to make up all of those houses and so you can have two scarves at once as long as they don't share any pieces because um slytherin and ravenclaw both use gray and gryffindor and hufflepuff both use yellow so you can't have those two but um, you can have, uh, so let's see, you can have Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, Slytherin and Gryffindor, Slytherin and Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, but you can't have Slytherin and Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff and Gryffindor as they share pieces. And we also have a nice snitch, which is on a stand, so it seems as it's hovering in midair, which I find really, really cool. And so, the, as I said earlier, you can see that the book on the bottom is Tom Riddle's diary, and you can tell that from the golden corners. Um, but I highly doubt that there's any printing on it, as the cover is fate is on the bottom. So the, that makes I mean the covering is um, the cover is you know what's it's gonna be on the surface. You know, it's it's not gonna be seen. So I don't see why there would be any printing there. And the other two books seem to be random, which is fine. They aren't very visible when they're on display. So I'm fine with that. And I personally am going to be moving the potion box as I would like to have it on the side instead of in the back where it's out of the front view. The chocolate frog card looks 
really amazing, along with the chocolate frog as well. It's great that you can put Dumbledore on the uh, card there. I think that's absolutely amazing. And I think that this, along with all the figures, are going to look great on the stand. Uh, the glasses, Harry's glasses, look amazing, as does his wand. Um, I just honestly love this set. I think it's absolutely amazing. I can see why some people may not like it, but I personally think it is really great. I probably won't get it day one. I'll probably have it be like a Christmas Day thing or something like that. As there are several sets that I want to get over the next few months before this. But it's definitely a set that I want to get at some point. Um, so there you have it. Um, I'm very curious to see your opinions on this so far. I've been seeing mixed reactions with this. Some people who are um, kind of unsure whether they want it. People who absolutely want it. And people who are giving it a hard pass. So let me know in the comments down below what you're going to do. Do you like it? Are you going to get it? Can you get it? You know, all those types of things. Um, and anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.